you will look carefully, listen carefully, you will find a lot of things. Carefully look and listen. Tell you something about even how I am about this, so that just show you that anybody can do this. They really can. I don't ever even mix my paint. It's very rare. I think my dog right now is maybe eating some of the paint. Dudley, I'm not no. sure. Dudley, no, no. Dudley. Anyway, so right now I'm going to kind of work in closing this off. You know what? That's not a hard and fast rule. Pretty much everything I'm doing is not a hard and fast rule. But you want to do like me. And. <laughs> Dudley. Oh, Dudley. Oh, it's Dudley the art dog. Anyway, cool color. Look, I love Golden. I love Stuart Gill. I love folk art. I love them all. I haven't I met very few I love here. Um, I love water-soluble oil pastel, but my portfolio. I might work with some of those later, but anyway. So I'm going to just right now just kind of do this just goes to wrap this up and to add some more color because we've got a lot of pink. We've got some purple, you know, so I want to throw in some different color just to kind of, you know, juice it up some. So I'm going to go through here. See how this is a real cool color. It's, um, I love it. And see how the, it's translucent enough that you can see the stamps shining through. That's cool. I mean, I could even like bring it on over. But I'm just going to go over this, her little skirt. That's cool. It's all cute. And uh, pretty soon i got to start thinking about the edge of this picture. Somebody might want to frame it, but you might not want to frame it. You might want to make the edge real cool. I'm telling you, you could even like uh, get a cool letter stencils and t stencil out a little story around the edge. This is the year I made this. This is who I did it of. And it'll, and it'll actually be like, you know, one of those 2000 mixed media heirlooms that, you know, you never know. And we will talk more about framing in later videos. Oh, yeah. Because uh, Squee is the framing queen. I am not. Uh, but Squee is very, very good. Now, so, see, we're just going to kind of, it's kind of bringing, and like I say, look, man, I could, uh, if I wanted to, just showing you, since I've got this green, a hint of color here and there, a hint of color here and there, I could kind of, if I want to, just kind of go and put a little of that wisp. Just see? Look. I can just kind of, I could go in up here and just kind of do a circle. Look, man, you can do whatever. It's going to show up, too. I just want to bring in a different color. The color will inspire me to do some other kind of uh, design later. All right. And then if I want to, from there, I come in with the paper towel. A lot of people use um, the air bubbles, the packing insulation. It don't matter. And I can just kind of turn, turn. Kind of give it a dreamy effect, which is my favorite. A worn look, which is my favorite. Just kind of, you can let it dry so far and lightly sand it. You know, and then you're going to find something that you go, yeah, man, I really do like that. Okay, so um, I'm going to go back when, before I come back on the next video, what I'll be doing is what I should have done like I did with the crown. Why this is so difficult, I don't know, but I'm going to go back and take the stars and with the Eileen's tacky glue, I'll put the stars on. So when I come back, they will be on there. And then from there, we'll glitter up the, um, the wings, put the hands. I'll have some kind of magic wand that'll be, you know, I'm going to see bringing some rhinestones. And we're going to start, like, bringing it together so fast that the last thing I add is the, um, the cat, the kitty cat. Because Amy's big on kitty cats, sparkles. It's getting really close. It's getting really close. And you could have something like this done, oh, in about two evenings and do it for, um, gosh, man, anything, any kind of gift. And people will flip out and they'll love it. Anyway, that's all for now.